Yo, 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 it's your homeboy Kiyosaki in the building. Welcome to another episode of my One Piece discussion series. This week I was supposed to do um, Doflamingo versus Luffy, right? But see what happened. I've been busy, like really busy. So I haven't been able to get to that video and I can do it before the next um, chapter comes out, but I don't want to rush it. I like to be calm and, you know, collected and do things thoroughly, right? And I like to do these kind of videos just once for so-and-so theory. And um, if there is a mistake, or if it's like, you know, 100 chapters later, that's when I might think of revisiting it. But, you know, this is just Rosa, right? Not that many chapters left. Uh, well, not 100 at least, or whatever. It's uh, it's still one arc, you know. It's too, it's too soon to like, be revisiting stuff I've spoken about like that. We doing videos and stuff. Yeah, I just like doing videos once, right? So, because of that, I decided I'm just going to do a, an entirely different thing. And then I'll save the Flamingo versus Luffy for hopefully next week. Because hopefully, I won't be tied up again this week in terms of time and all that stuff. So this week, I'm going to talk about a topic that pretty much everyone is blind to. I mean, we don't know much um, about this topic, so it's pretty fair if I make a video about it. Um, even if I am wrong, you know, I'm, uh, all I'm doing is making guesses, really. Um, now, I'm going to talk about the Corrida Colosseum Finals. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to talk about how I hope it goes down. Then, I'll talk about some other stuff that could happen. But I'll talk about how I want it to go down and how I hope it goes down, right? First off, how I hope it goes down. Saba wins the fruit. That's pretty obvious. I think everyone wants that. But more importantly, right? More importantly, because he can get the fruit even if someone else wins, like Bartolomeo or Rebecca. He can still get the fruit. So that's not really important. The most important thing for me is Sabo fights Burgess one on one. Well, that's that's the first. The second thing is Rebecca doesn't win. I mean, if, I'm okay with Bartolomeo winning, you know, because he has a barrier around him and then he gives the fruit to Sabo. But if Rebecca wins, I'll just be so pissed because she's already won the block D in a really cheesy, annoying way. And that, that kind of pissed me. And I, I just don't want her to win. I'll be pretty pissed if she does. Um, back to the topic, uh, yeah. So, Sabo um, versus Burgess one-on-one. -on -one. What's, what's wrong with that? Now, the problem with that is there's three other people. So, how is it going to be a one-on-one? -on -one? Now, Bartolomeo is pretty defensive. His, his abilities are pretty defensive. And uh, even then, he's not he's not as strong as Diamante. Why? Well, he might be, but I don't think so. And the reason being is, uh, though Flamingo had faith, right, that Diamante could take down Luffy. And uh, Luffy is no joke. I mean, he's a... Uh, he's, he's, um, this, he has a second highest bounty for a supernova pre time skip, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so that's that says something. Uh, yeah, that says something. And um, Luffy has all the faith in the world to um in that uh, Diamante would keep the fruit for him. And double fruits, you know, Ace's double fruit is no joke. It's not like a t terrible double fruit tool. So Doflamingo can still use it after the Colosseum if no one wins it, you know, for some other reasons or whatever. So it's really important. And uh, yeah, that all that said, we know that Diamante is strong and most likely stronger than Bartolomeo, even though we haven't seen much of him. Uh, yeah, we've seen his abilities, and um, if I could pick an ability, right, between Bartolomeo's and uh, Diamante's, I'd pick Bartolomeo's, but Doflamingo had faith that this man could beat Luffy. Now, we could say that he didn't know about Burgess, because, you know, Burgess had the, you know, the really lame, dis oh, he didn't, yeah, he had a disguise, all you could really tell is, okay, this dude is pretty big, but you can't really say that's Burgess, right, because he had a freaking bag on his head and stuff. Um, yeah, so he didn't know about that, and, uh, yeah, he had faith that um, Diamante could protect uh, the fruit from all these um, supernovas and stuff with the newer ones, plus Luffy. So that says a lot. And so, that being said, well, we know Rebecca can't do shit to anyone in the in the finals. So, Diamante, I mean, Bartolomeo can't hold off Diamante because that's one thing you could think of is, oh, Bartolomeo will be fighting Diamante while Sal and Burgers have the one-on-one, -on -one, right? Nah. Nah. The Diamante... So, I, I, I don't know. I just don't see... I don't see it happening like that. So, what I think is going to happen, right, is Diamante gets knocked out first. Once he's knocked out, Bartolomeo brings up a barrier. Rebecca's behind the barrier as well, and they just pretty much um, stand and watch, and then Salva and Burgers have the one-on-one, -on -one, and then the barrier will protect them from any residual damage. And yeah, that's pretty much the way I see it happening. Uh, yeah, then we get the one-on-one, -on -one, and um, when um, Bartolomeo is 100% guaranteed that he's going to give the fruit to Sabo, but Rebecca doesn't know Sabo, and uh, I don't know, it's just going to be kind of weird if, uh, I don't know, she, she doesn't know Sabo. So, you know, we could see, uh, hopefully Oda doesn't do anything dumb, like trying to force a twist in, you know, where she, she tries to get the fruit for herself or something weird like that. I don't want that to happen. But whatever, uh, that's the way I see it happening, you know, so we get the nice one-on-one -on -one action with Sabo and Burgers. Another possibility, right, to, put, to prevent Rebecca from doing anything fishy or dumb or anything that will contradict anything, right, is during their fight, there's so much haki, right, or there's some king's haki or some shit, and it, it knocks her out because she is fodder. I mean, being able to use haki doesn't make you immune to a uh, conqueror's haki. There's vice admirals and stuff that have that can use hockey but they're not you know immune to it immune to conquer hockey and all that stuff uh yeah so being able to use hockey doesn't make you immune to conquer hockey and uh yeah it's not there's no there's no real connection between the two 
Uh, mm, that's pretty much that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Really, I see the amount. What in any scenario, right? The amount is going to go out first because, yeah, the amount is going to go out first because Bartolomeo and Rebecca can't handle him. So we know Burgess isn't going out first. We know Sabo isn't going out first. If Bartolomeo goes out first, who's going to protect Rebecca? Well, Sabo can. Yeah, but Bartolomeo could go out first. He could actually, but that's. Eh. He has his barrier, man. It's gonna be really hard to knock him out. He's yeah. He and Rebecca have similar things, you know. They're really hard to touch, and I think that's when that's the theme we're seeing is that both of these two people are capable of avoiding damage, and so that's why I think they're just, they're just, they're just gonna stand on the sidelines, and whatever happens, we can you know re be like we can rest assured that okay, if anything was gonna happen, um, you can have Bartolomeo's barrier or Rebecca will dodge it, right? So Diamante is gonna get knocked out first, then we have the winning one, and then Sabo wins. And that's my prediction for the Colosseum. You know, it could go some other ways, but really, Sabo has to win, uh, and Diamante has to go out first. Those two things are pretty much um, my predictions that I'm sticking with, 100% guaranteed. Uh, yeah, the other stuff is kind of, you know, whatever, you know, wishy-washy. Uh, it could go a bunch of ways. Um, but yeah, I see the, um, Bartolomeo and um, Rebecca on the sidelines once Diamante is out. They just watch our spectators, and then once our body defeats Burgers, they just like forfeit or whatever, and then Sabo gets the free. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now, this video has been pretty long for something really simple, but this isn't scripted. You know, usually um, I have the information because it's usually like a really deep topic I talk about that we all know about and all that stuff. I usually use a lot of information and all that stuff, but this week I decided to freestyle and all that stuff. So forgive me for bloopers and uh, anything else. Just forgive me. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.